I believe my research clearly shows that the radio emissions from Jupiter do not come from all over the planet as thought, but from a certain spot in the Northern Hemisphere. Although the cause of these emissions remains a mystery, this discovery will, I hope, be a major step forward in the understanding of the planet Jupiter. Gasps of amazement from the audience. <laughs> Very funny. Then the judges give their verdict. Brilliant! She's way ahead of her time. Nikki Colbert, that was a mind-blowing paper. Of course, you've won first prize. You've obviously benefited enormously from the time you've been spending with the inspiring Mike Masters. And we recommend you take it a step further and meet with him one night. Oh, well, I don't want her going out or watching videos. Nikki, this is Zoe Banks, our new Wright Foundation member student. Hi, welcome to Capita. Zoe's entered her project in the Science Students Conference this Friday, so you two should have stacks to talk about. <laughs> What's your project on? The magnetic field of Jupiter. Oh, no, I entered her. Zoe is much too modest about her abilities, but she's never let us down yet. I'll call you every day, darling. Work hard. Well, I guess you'd like to race Zoe up to the lab and show her the ropes. No! I mean... The lab's a real mess, but Zoe hasn't met Mike. Mike would like to take Zoe on a long tour of the grounds. I would? Yes. While I go and tidy up the lab. Tidy the lab? I can't believe this. Oh, yours are great. Here, let me do yours. I'm your understudy, so they should look just like yours. Maggie, don't hate me, but when you got this part, I was so jealous that I wanted to, to kill you or at least pull your hair. That's OK. I guess if you'd got the part, I would have wanted to kill you too. Really? You're the best best friend ever. Hello? Maggie, plug in the modem. Why? Why? Just do it. It's a matter of life or death. A matter of life or death? A matter of life or death? It's a matter of life or death. It's a matter of life or death. I'd really like to go and unpack now. It's been a long drive. But you haven't seen the... Maggie's tree. You can't come here without seeing that. <laughs> Come on. She would have to pick Jupiter. That used to be my treehouse once. It's Maggie's now. You see, I went to America, and when I came back, I couldn't really tell her it wasn't hers. I mean, she's only nine. Anyway, I've grown out of childish things like that. Now I'm interested in rollerblading and music. Uh, you want to see my guitar? Shadow. Oh, she can't get up. I left her lying on the grass. Good. Listen, Maggie, this is top, top secret. I've made a major, major scientific discovery. You can't tell a soul until I announce it properly at the science conference. One question. If it's such a major, major discovery, why are you shredding it? Because I don't want it to fall into the wrong hands. Now, the only copy of it is on my personal computer. I've invited Josie and Ruth. Mum, why? Well, all my friends should be there when you win that prize. Ruth is always so smug about her son. Well, I'm not going to win any prizes unless I get my work done. Bye, Mum. You 
you didn't eat your breakfast, so... Zoe, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm fine. If you're having trouble with your project, why don't you ask Nikki to help you? She helps all our students. Anyone see Nikki? Not for two days. Mike, if you're heading over to Nikki's, why don't you take Zoe with you? She's having a bit of trouble with her project, and I told her Nikki's our unofficial science consultant. Gee, I'd love to, but... I forgot to feed Hendrix. I better do that now. Mike! I'd really like you to do this first. I'm a bit worried about Zoe. Mike will take you over to Nikki's. I'm sure she'll be happy to help. Uh, Nikki? Mike, do you have to sneak up on me? Um, well, your mum said it was all right to come in. Is this her room, is it, Mark? Uh, Zoe's here. Sorry to interrupt. That's OK. How's it going? It isn't, so Elfie suggested I asked you for help. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm way too busy at the moment. That's OK, I can come back later. I'm just really confused about what that journal says, and I'm not quite the hotshot at science that you are. Well, you must be pretty good to win a Wright Foundation scholarship. Look, Nikki, I'm in serious trouble with my paper, and Elfie says you help all the other students. Why not me? It's not you, it's your project. I'm presenting my own paper on the source, well, on Jupiter. Our topics are just too close for comfort. I'm sorry. Why aren't you answering the phone? Hi, Alfie. Hi, Zoe. Hi. Isn't anyone going to answer the phone? I'm not. You know, it's your mother. Pick it up. She's driving me crazy. Well, I'm not speaking to her again. You guys are weird. Hello? May I speak to Zoe, please? To your mum. Tell her I'm dead. She's dead right now. Can I take a message? No message. Zoe, would you like to come to my dress rehearsal tonight? It's going to be radical and I'm practically the star. I don't know. Is Nikki going? Everyone's going. Oh, look, I've got something important to do. I'm sorry. The lion is sleeping. The wardrobe is locked. But a witch's work is never done. Hear me now and fear to know, for it is a secret that shall burn the keeper. <laughs> in the back of her head. Oh, no! Wake Shh. up, Lion! Wake up! The See evil I mean? giant! The evil, hungry, child-eating giant with bad breath is coming! Lion, oh faithful friend, why has the wardrobe abandoned us? Why has the wardrobe abandoned us? <laughs> we had a little bit of trouble with the lion's back legs. Christopher McLean wasn't concentrating. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Oh, that's OK. Did you get your work done? Yeah, it's suddenly all coming together. Oh, yeah, I found this new game on the electronic billboard. It's based on astrology, so I thought you'd like to try it. Hey, Radical! Let's play it now. Oh, I've got too much work. You try it and tell me what it's like. I'm going home tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Thanks, Zoe.
You'll be very sorry very soon. Expect a nasty shock. Hmm. Off the computer, Maggie. I thought of some new ideas for my speech tomorrow. I'm always inspired in the shower. Can't you wait? This game's great. It's based on astrology and... No, don't tell and... me. I'll forget what I wanted to say. You won't be sorry. I'll mention you in my acceptance speech for the Nobel Prize. Nikki, did you really mean it last night when you said how talented I was? Yes. I was very proud of you. I'm sorry I won't be at the play, but this conference tomorrow is going to launch my whole career. I understand. Jupiter's more important to you than your only sister's feelings of hurt and rejection. you do, Maggie? Nothing. Haven't you saved it somewhere? No. This is all I have. My speech, all my work on Jupiter, all my work on anything is gone. Tell me what you did, Maggie, before I shake you to death. Let me go! Mum! Well, Mum's not here. She can't help you and you're dead. I was only playing a game. I swear I didn't even enter your directory. Show me that game. self-erasing virus disk and it's destroyed every file on my directory. But it was such a great game. Where is she? And you know who we mean. Zoe? Well, she's just left for Tamworth. But she wasn't supposed to leave till tomorrow. Well, she had a surprise breakthrough with her project, so she went home early to get ready for the science conference tomorrow. Did she say what breakthrough? Uh, something about the source of the radio emissions from Jupiter. It sounds very exciting. <clears throat> she stole your research. It's unthinkable. Well, isn't there something we could do, like tell the conference officials? Well, you could use your notes as proof, huh? I shredded all my notes. Nikki, that's uh, bad science. Hello, Caputa. Listening post to the universe. It'll be just your word against Zoe's. Yes, Jack. Sure. Settled. Huh. Preliminary briefing tonight, Sydney. Thanks. McDonald. Can't go. Appendicitis. They want me. What? The shuttle. You're going up. Well, congratulations. I'll look after yes. the Spooky Pro while you're away. <laughs> Maggie, why aren't you sleeping? You hate me, don't you? No more than usual. I've ruined your life. Hey. You're my little sister. It's your job to ruin my life. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I hate myself. Maggie, it's not your fault. She tricked you. You're just too trusting. I'm just too stupid. Why are you still dressed? I can stay awake all night, you know. I'm meeting Mike. What? Now? Night? Where? Maggie, you have to promise me you won't tell Mum, OK? Why should I? I thought you were sorry about ruining my life. True, but this is a completely different issue. What? I'll have to think about it. Well, while you're at it, think about all the favours I've done for you over the years. It'll be a short thought. I mean, I still can't believe it how anyone could stoop so low as to steal my discovery. 
You know, I hope something really horrible happens to that girl. Mike, did you have a girlfriend in L.A.? Yeah, a few. But, you know, we had this really heavy rap group happening. Oh, it was excellent. You still miss it? Yeah. So it really bugs me about Dad. He never considers what I'll miss when he takes these transfers. Get packed, Mike. We're off to Pluto. He wouldn't even think to ask me about leaving planet Earth. <laughs> You know, Zoe is so low, I bet you could lie her way onto that shuttle with your dad. I wouldn't put it past her. Now that he's been selected, I think I might have to check out who the other crew members are, make sure she's not one of them. Dad's going? For real? <laughs> Come on, Mike, it's only the biggest news around here. Didn't he tell you? I was there when he got the call. He's gone to Sydney for his first briefing. Why should he tell me? Mike, find your father? No. Well, he's probably left you a message on the machine. He didn't even think about telling me he'd be going up into space. Why should he bother about a trip to Sydney? Well, Mike, you know your father. He forgets things. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. He doesn't mean Well, it. this is what I think of him. <laughs> Tell him for me. You'll probably see him before I do. Conference now. I just realised I can ask Zoe a question about my research that she won't be able to answer and expose her for the lowdown fraud that she is. Darling, yesterday you told me you weren't going to go to the conference. I'm sorry. I know how important this is to you, but you have to let it go. Well, couldn't you drive me there? Maggie's plays on tonight. Well, can anyone else drive me there? Tony's still in Sydney, and Christiane and Elfie left early. Well, then there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, darling. Having two daughters doesn't mean that I can be in two different places at once. I wish it did. Kathy, I can't make it to the play tonight. The part's all yours, but only for tonight. What was that? Oh, don't worry, you'll be cool. OK, good luck. Bye. Maggie, you can't give up your play for me. It was my fault she wiped your research. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Robert. Fascinating and in-depth expose on virus-free potatoes. Our next speaker, Zoe Banks, has done something extraordinary. She studied the constant radioactivity from the planet Jupiter and actually discovered the source. <laughs> Zoe Banks. science students. In my paper today, I'd like to announce what I believe is an important discovery. This discovery will, I hope, be a major step forward in our understanding of the planet Jupiter. Great! We've got a question. Excuse me. I hate to put a damper on things, but uh, I don't think Zoe's aware that her uh, discovery was announced some time back in the journal International Astronomy in the 60s. You got what you deserved. You stole my paper, you wiped my research. If that guy hadn't said that, I would have told everyone in that hall. Well? Why did you do it? You wouldn't understand. I'm no good at science. But my mum keeps pushing me. Insisting that I should be some sort of genius. I even faked my right foundation application. 
My cousin wrote it. Well, that's no excuse. You should tell your mother the truth. Yeah, right. Easy for you to say. I can't let her down. Well, it has to be better than all these lies. You've let her down anyway. How much worse can it get? Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't believe you didn't do your research better than that. I have never been so humiliated in my life. I'm hopeless at science, Mum. And I didn't even want to do this. Oh, what are you talking about? Of course you're good at science. She's been getting straight A's. I've been cheating. Cheating for years. I didn't want to disappoint you. It seemed the only way that I could make you proud. Oh, Zoe. I think we should go home. We really need to talk. Let her get away. Maggie, sometimes you just have to let things go. Oh, what is this for? Nothing. 